let's look at the Safari support portal and the features that you can access within it. To begin with, let's go on to the web page and type in support.sapphiresystems.com. The username and password can be obtained by sending across a mail to our support ID or calling us on our support number 0207648003. Once you are logged in, you have two options. You can click to enter the SAP support if you are an SAP client, or you can click to enter Sun support if you are a Sun Systems client. Within the support dashboard that you overlook, you will find that you have different tabs which take you through how to log a support call, how you can view the previous calls, our service level statements, the escalation procedures, the support processes, the different webinar recordings that have been carried out by a support consultant, e-learning material, hints and tips on how to process certain things quickly in the SAP system, the latest patch releases that have been released by Sapphire for their clients post their testing, the upcoming releases, our user days, and links to the different add-ons like Vision, Boyum, and so, for, so on and so forth. Let's look at your support dashboard, which will give you a comprehensive idea of the support calls that you have logged, depending on the plan, on your company information. You can see which calls are in process, who is the current owner, you can click on the call and by clicking on the view details option, you can look at the different activities that have been processed within this call. You can look at the previous calls as I said, which is the support on the support dashboard. You can figure out whether a call has been open, uh, is still open or is closed. And if it is closed and if you're still unhappy about it being closed, you might want to call up support and reopen it back. You can look at the service level statement, the escalation procedure for the UK service level statement and the US service level statement. You can look at our support product map. which will give you an idea of what kind of support processes are in picture, as in the hotline support, the online support, your remote connection details are provided to us and we log in remotely and test it. Critical process cover wherein your different levels of cover, depending on your depending on the issue, it will get covered within a certain specific period of time. You can Within your knowledge bar, you have access to the webinar recordings that have been carried out by consultants from the past four years. You also have access to the e-learning material, like the administration, financials, and different modules. Also, when you want to log a call, you just need to go on to the support dashboard, log a new call, You just hit your name and your details will automatically be entered. You define the product. If it is a SAP business one, you select a SAP business one. If it is POEM, you select a POEM, you set it back. You define the priority, say it's a system down or a critical program failure. If possible, specify the version. If you have any error messages which you have saved as a JPEG or a GIF file, just attach it submit it and the call will be logged into our support portal since one of the consultants will pick it up and get back to you. You can look at the product releases, the support products and the versions. 
the different platforms, server platforms, the database platforms, the client platforms to be sure that if you are proceeding with an upgrade, your client-based Windows platforms are supported on the new version of SAP. There's a queries corner which will which has been just recently added to provide you with ideas on how to write queries and some handy queries which could be useful in your business environment. The escalation procedure has been clearly defined, so if you are not happy with the support process that has been provided by the consultant or colleague, you might just want to ring up the support line, speak to Sam Roland Jones, a support manager. You also have an access to the knowledge base. You can select the knowledge base. You can specify the search terms. And you will get an idea of the different issues that you could have within your system. And this is basically for you to figure out if you can resolve an issue on your own before getting back to us. So we are just updating this knowledge base as and when with our different product lines. The events will give you an idea of our upcoming user days or our upcoming webinars so you can enroll for the webinars or the user days as and when they are declared on this portal. And out on the link section you have access to the different third-party softwares like the vision reporting, the usability pack. You also have access for the customer portal, SAP customer portal, for which if you do not have a S user ID, just get in touch with support. And you have a service level statement, so that's fine. Feedback. You can always email your feedback to support at safarsystems.com or to our support, to our support manager, Sam Roland Jones. That's it from my end. Thank you.